Matthew 27, 45 through 47. Now from the sixth hour until the ninth hour, from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. Uh, this would have been midday. Um, this showed God's approval and God's presence over the sacrifice and kind of period of mourning for God him son dying Jesus dying although he does receive him it shows that the state you know the debt of sin has just been paid but it came at the cost of losing God and this was his plan He hadn't died yet. We see that in the next verse, but I believe that's why it got dark. Now, most movies depict it as a storm causing darkness as possible, or it could have just got dark. It doesn't specify. Verse 46. About the ninth hour, this is before he died. Jesus cried with a loud voice, Ella, Ella, Lama, Shabbat. This is my, my God, my God. Why have you forsaken me? Psalms 22, 1. He's quoting scripture. This is key because many people think God turned his back on him. So if this would have been true, why would God receive him as a penance? If uh, He didn't. He received this. Yes, God saw him as sin so he had to turn from him and that may be why it's dark but God didn't forsake him he received him as the sacrifice Jesus does this style of teaching very many ways he's re quoting this scripture to tell them hey this is what's happening here read the rest of it and you'll know what happens flip there and we'll see what it goes into. Uh, verse 6. But I am a worm and not a man. A worm and not a man. Scorned by men and despised by pe the people. All who sees me mock me. They herald insults, sh shaking heads. And this has already happened by this point for him. Already been fulfilled. He trusts in the Lord. Let the Lord rescue him. Let him deliver him since he delights in him. Verse 18, they divide my garments among them, cast lots for clothing, fulfilled also. He's reminding them that this is fulfilled through this event. For he has not despised or disdained the suffering of the afflicted one. He has, this is verse 24, Psalms 22, he has not hidden his face from him, but has listened to his cry for help. That is what's happening. God's hearing the prayers. And of course the afflicted one was Christ. Although this scripture does refer simply to those hurting. It, we know it's a messianic psalm. Verse 31, they will proclaim his righteousness, this is referring to Jesus, the Lord, to a people yet unborn, for he has done it. Today that's being fulfilled, because people who weren't born then are being told. 
Verse 27, all the ends of the earth will remember and turn to the Lord, and the families of nations will bow down before him. For dominion belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. All the rich of the earth will feast and worship, and all who go down to the dust will kneel before him, those who cannot keep themselves alive. Prosperity will serve him. Future generations will hold about the Lord. This is fulfilling that. Christ fulfills that scripture. And that's what he's trying to teach them. Through him quoting that. Not saying God's turned his back on me. Verse 47. And this is key. Interesting. Some of them stood there when he heard it and said, The man is calling Elijah. It's a shame that the people of God, people who claim God were so far gone that they confused the name of God for Elijah or think anybody would call out to Elijah who had been dead. They put idols of men. Men they killed. Men their ancestors killed. Men they rejected who came in the name of the Lord. Yet they think you go through a man Society today can make that effort, mistake, and false effort. We cry out to God. Jesus set the example.